In order to run, an engine needs three things, spark, fuel, and air. And in order to run efficiently, that air needs to be clean and unrestricted. Every car has an air cleaner under the hood to catch dirt, dust, and debris. Much like a dust mask, when it's new, you can breathe freely. But over time, as the dust builds up, it will become restricted. Your car is the same way. Over time, it will lose power, and you'll find you're getting worse gas mileage because it takes more throttle to get the same acceleration. Your engine needs roughly one pound of air for every ounce of fuel by weight, and that's a lot of air. Normally, Haynes recommends you change your air filter once a year. In severe driving conditions like dust and dirt roads, you should change it more frequently. But it's easy and it's inexpensive, once Haynes shows you how. Hi, I'm Mark, the technician behind the Haynes Online Manuals. Every car is different, but most don't require any tools to change the air filter. On old cars, the air filter was usually ring-shaped and right on top of the motor, accessed by loosening a wing nut. These days the filter is a flat panel or a cone mounted in a box in the engine compartment. You typically unsnap a few clips or unscrew a few fasteners then slide the tabs in the cover out of the slots in the housing and lift the cover off. You now can swap out the old dirty filter for a clean one. Once the old one is out, it is easy to see how dirty it is just by holding it up to the light. Something else that can clog a filter is water. A filter that has gotten waterlogged won't flow much air and a puddle eight inches deep may be enough to have your car sucking water. Before you put the new filter in, Use a damp cloth to clean bugs, leaves, and dust out of the housing. Or even better, use a vacuum cleaner. Be sure to avoid getting anything into the intake duct, because from here it is a direct path into the engine. On panel filters, examine the new filter for a directional arrow. If there is no arrow, install with the pleated portion facing the incoming air. Slide the tabs into the slots and latch the cover. On a cone type filter, there may be alignment tabs that need to be located correctly before installing the cover. If there is a rubber gasket, make sure it is in good shape, then install the cover, reconnect any breather or vacuum hoses, and snap the clips or tighten the screws. Your Haynes manual will have all the specifics. Now your car will be getting all the clean, fresh air it needs for maximum power. And that's all there is to it.